Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Deb Helsing from Deb's Dog Inn with two adorable lap dogs, you can say. Right. So these dogs, tell us all about these dogs. Okay, this is Baby. Mm -hmm. um, she's about 11, and this this is Little Man. He's five. Now, it's not mom and son. Um, the lady that had them did pass away. Uh -huh. And uh, a relative took them for a short period of time till they, they could find a place. And I said, we'll take them. Yeah. <laughs> they're both really sweet. They love to sit on your lap. Um, they're just really, really good little dogs. Yeah. Um, they might be better in a home as the only pets just because they want all the attention. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, but they're very sweet. I don't think they've ever been around small children. Um, but I love them. Yeah. <laughs> love them all. And a bonded pair means that... Um, they need to stay together. So these two are bonded? Yes, they okay. need a home together. The okay. one won't do well without the other. Yeah. And, you know, they lose their owner, and then, you know, I'm going to strive to find them home together because they've already lost their home. They right. need each other. Right. So. And they are adorable little chihuahuas. Yeah, they are. They're really you know? good. Now, tell us a little bit about chihuahuas for people that don't are not familiar. Right. And typically, you know, they are kind of a one-person dog. Mm. Uh, not always. Um, I had one. His name was Spike. He loved everybody. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, usually they, they kind of like a quieter environment. Now, these two, sometimes they do like to bark. Mm -hmm. One, you can't. <laughs> Oh. You're right. <laughs> you can't say like one gr a breed follows all characteristics, right. but in Chihuahuas, they you know they get pretty excitable. Mm -hmm. But these guys are more on the quiet side, pretty yeah. laid back. All they want is the lovings and a good home to take care of them. Yeah. Now, when I did, I'd have to mention that when I did go over to put your mic on, that I did get a little kiss. Oh yeah, from, they're wonderful. From the little one here. Yeah, Listen. they uh, typically Chihuahuas like to cuddle under a blanket. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty cold most of the time, yeah. so they love that. And like I said, they'll be happy just with somebody that will love them and let them sit on their lap. And yeah. they do like to get down. They're not big players, but you know they do like to waste. Right, and they're not puppies as well. So no, they, you right. know, so right. this would be a good type of do or these dogs right here would be a good uh, maybe family members that would be more relaxed. Do you right. Think? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. If you get, maybe somebody lost their pet and they're just uh -huh. looking for a dog to cuddle with them. Yeah. You know, dogs are the best company, the best, best therapy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, you're gonna find more. Uh, you know, love and everything from a dog, you know, it, it's just so beneficial for people's health too, yeah. mentally, physically. That's true. You know, so yeah, I'm all about that. It's, you know, it's I had good. dogs growing up as well. So every time I came home, no matter how bad your day was, they were always excited to see you. That's the thing about dogs and pets mm -hmm. in general. They're going to always give you more than you give them. All they want is love and good food, and they're good to go. Yeah. Now, so. you're, a, you're a dog lover, so let's do some summer tips. Oh, yes. You know, obviously, it's going to get hotter. Right. So. And, and you have to really be careful. I Ideally, all dogs are kept inside only to go out to potty and play. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you do have to keep them outside, make sure they have sufficient shelter out of the sun. And um, they have fresh food and water. Yeah. And they were, you know, they just sitting out there in the heat is is not good. Right. Um. So make sure that they're well taken care of. Make sure that they are on heartworm flea and tick preventative. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm hearing ticks are really bad because of all the rain we've had, and they can get really, really serious diseases if they're yeah. not protected. So that's extremely important. Parvo is going around. Make sure you get your dogs vaccinated. One vaccine is not going to protect them. They need a full round. What you doing? <laughs> there little man <laughs> getting attention is what he's yeah. doing yeah it's like, here I am. Yeah. But yeah, it's really, really important. And if you're going to take them for walks, make sure you don't walk them on the hot pavement. Oh, if yeah. It, you know, that can burn the pads on their feet. Their pads are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. so yeah, maybe just, in the grass. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, if there's you're walking the path, take them in the grass. I mean, yeah. it's just it, it, being a, a responsible pet owner, um, t doing all you can to keep them healthy and safe. Right. And most importantly, love them with all your heart. And just, uh, if, you, if it's too hot for you to walk on, it's right. probably too right. hot for you them. You walk out, it's a hot, humid day, you know. Yeah. And you don't have to go on walks on hot days. I mean, you just mm -hmm. take them out a little bit and get them back in where it's yeah, cool. Yeah. Because just, and never, ever leave, ever leave an animal, dog or cat or any type, in the car. Um, oh, it, yeah. it heats up so fast. Just like in a the baby. Car. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, they. Uh, it heats up so fast that mm. in, in no time at all, they're they are on the floor and, yeah. and well, unconscious. Deb, yeah. they can find you on Facebook, right? Yes, yeah, Facebook. All right. I got emails, and if they're looking, they can find Let's me. Let's get them adopted. And thanks for WLO and this community that supports us. We yeah. really appreciate Our it. Our pleasure. All right, well, thanks for coming in. Well, don't go away because medical news is coming up next.